Greetings from the Karma and Sense offices in Calgary, Alberta, where I am in social isolation doing the Place to Give Foundation Spring Disbursements. We know that the charitable sector does not stop even when the rest of the world is going through an economic crisis and we are socially isolated, so that's what I'm up to today. Um, but that also brings us to our 60 seconds of philanthropy question, which comes from a donor who asks, what are other ways that funders can provide capital into the charitable sector that is not traditional philanthropy or checkbook philanthropy? So with that, 60 seconds on the clock. There are four things that you can do. These are generalized. So if you have a formal structure like a foundation or a charitable trust, you need to go back into your bylaws to find out if you can actually do these things. The first thing is debt financing. That's low interest or zero interest loans to help organizations get through the tough economic times. The second thing to do is look at becoming a co-signer on a mortgage. This provides an organization with an appreciating asset on their books, but also gets some better financing with the banks. The third thing to look into is investing in a social impact or community impact bond. Uh, these bonds are backed by other philanthropists or the government and um, the rate of return is determined ba based on the social impact that's generated. And then the last thing that you can do is on the investment side of your portfolio, look at investing in social purpose businesses that have the same philanthropic or social purpose that your foundation does. And when the global markets return and your assets improve, you can flip uh, your investment strategy into your philanthropic strategy and deploy that capital into charities. So with that 60 seconds of philanthropy, I'm Gina Rothstein and I look forward to seeing you at the next episode. Please stay safe and stay healthy.